Hi guys, I'll be giving you a tutorial of how to modify your swimming exercise by using a dining chair. To begin, you place yourself with your belly on the chair. So you position yourself so that your hip bones position at the edge of the chairs and then you're dangling your upper body over the chair. So if you're taller, then obviously you will have more upper body that is off the chair. It's fine. Then you'll be able to mobilize your upper back a little bit more. Most importantly, you want to make sure that your lower back is supported on the chair. Then have your legs on the floor. You can have your knees slightly bent or legs straight. I like to have my legs slightly apart. One, it's um, more... It's much better for my lower back position because I have extra lordosis. Two, I feel a little bit more stable on the chair. Then you can have your toes tuck or point your feet on the floor. We're going to begin by mobilizing the upper back in prone position. So I want you to relax your upper back down here. Okay, so you notice I have my hand pressing into the frame of the chair. So you take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, I press my hands into the frame of the chairs, start to engage my lat scapular stabilizer muscles, glide my eye line forward, and start to extend my upper back. So here, the edge of the chair, it's my guide, my feedback to make sure that I'm not using my lower back to lift my upper back up. And I'm also using my arms to help leverage, to help lifting my upper back up. Now make sure that back of the neck stay long. You can take a pause here, inhale, exhale, lower the back down. We go again, inhale, exhale through your purse lifts, draw your tummy in, press into your hand, glide your eye line forward, lift the upper back up. Inhale, pause here, feel like crown of your head lengthen away from the toes. And exhale, glide your eye line back down, come back down to start position. So as you go do this a few more times, you can use your arms less and less. So now here I'm only pressed gently just for my feedback. So using my scapular stabilizer and an inhale to come down. Let's just do one more time and exhale, lengthen up. Good. And then inhale, come all the way down. From here, I'm going to progress into a swimming exercise. Okay. So reach your legs on the floor. Lift the back up parallel with the floor, and then you can reach your arms overhead. From here, as you exhale, you're going to lift your right leg, and then maybe you can drop your right arms down. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale. If you want, you can lift your right arm slightly, but if you have problem with your shoulder, just keep your arm low. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, inhale, lower down, one more time, exhale, and then inhale, lower down. So this is a very great modification, okay, instead of being an all four, a use a ball, because the chair provides more stability. Okay, from there, you can progress into float both legs up, inhale, lower down, exhale, you can Hold here at the edge of the chair, pull your tummy in. Think about squeeze about reach should toes long and lift the legs up. We go again. Exhale, think about reach long towards the toe first before I lift up. Think about tailbone long. Think about length rather than height. And exhale. Inhale, lower down. Again, exhale, reach long. Inhale, lower down. One last one. We're going to hold a few more times here, a few breaths. And then come all the way down. Okay, so I hope that it's useful modification. Give it a try and let me know if you have any feedback. Thank you.